Hello everyone. Welcome to our Thursday night stream. Tonight, uh, like we have been. Wow, I timed that perfectly. Uh, tonight, as we have been, uh, we're playing through Metal Gear Solid 2. And uh, let's see, what happened last time? Unfortunately, we, we can't uh, we can't just... We can't do the thing we did in the last game, where when we would load up a save, it would just tell us what happened. Um, let's see, last time we were fighting Fat Man. Uh, and that was shortly after having shot uh, Vamp, this blood-sucking, um, seemingly immortal man, uh, in the head. And he somehow got back up after a few minutes? Hmm. Anyway. Um, now we're fighting Fat Man, who, uh... Well, we'll see. Oh, it just starts us right here in the middle here, and, uh, he has hidden bombs already. Got a spray coolant on them. This Fat Man, as, as you may recall, is a mad bomber who's kind of gone against, oh, is kind of going against the, uh, the rest of his team, or the rest of Dead Cell, I should say. He, uh, because he just wants to be known as a, uh, I don't know. A, uh, the greatest bomber or something? I don't know. There are a few ways to fight Fat Man. One is using claymores. You can just kind of plant them anywhere and he'll probably land on them. Because he travels around a lot. And he just fell over on his own, it seems, so... I'm not gonna worry about knocking him out. I'm just gonna... Do the coup de gras here on him. <laughs> Which doesn't really work quite like a coup de gras, but I don't know. The auto aim really helps. Can't forget about the bombs though. Because they are on a timer, and if they blow up, the whole thing blows up. This whole top close up and we get a game over oh he was he's <laughs> completely missed unfortunately you can't knock him off the edge to kill him so that I can auto-aim on him. You can shoot him in first-person mode, and that might be a little easier, I'm not sure. You can kind of follow him using his tracks from his, uh... from his roller skates. Oh. I'm not worrying too much about when he hits me, because he does so little damage right now. Actually, I wonder if I can just knock him over by rolling into him. Yep! I like that it kind of auto-aims for his head when he's down. He kind of gets a little tricky with these. Especially on hard mode he does, but we're playing on normal. Have to be kind of careful when he's next to one of his bombs like that. Don't want to hit the bomb. Unfortunately, the freeze, the coolant spray doesn't seem to, uh... Doesn't seem to work, uh... <laughs> On him, anyway. It doesn't seem to do anything to him. Uh, where did he put that thing? Oh, uh, what? I can't move. No! 
still have to defuse his bomb. Um, darn. Uh, where is it? Ah, there it is. Wow, that was pretty well hidden. And there's another one over here. Ten seconds. over for you that's what you think what do you mean what did you just do what is this I have beautiful hands these delicate hands can craft works of art answer me what the hell is this it's the switch for the biggest bomb of the entire place Once it's activated, there's no stopping the count. Where did you plant it? Where is it? Somewhere in this area. Don't worry, it's very close by. Where is it? Go ahead, shoot me. I'm already dead. Damn! Think you can find it? When it goes off, it'll take the big shell with it. Tell me where I can find the bomb! That's your problem. This is the highlight of the party. Bring it on, I say. They'll be happy, too. I die here and start my legend. Too bad you won't be around to see the movies. Laugh and grow fat! So, this last bomb is really hard to find. You, you, you could end up looking for it for a really long time. Uh, but, you know, let's just, let's just move him around. I think he's in a bad resting... Oh, what could that be? I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's right under him. This is the bomb. This, this is it. It's a big one. Good work, Raiden. Looks like all the bombs are neutralized. One of their main leverages is now gone. That leaves... Colonel, Fat Man didn't seem to know about the ransom demands. Intentionally kept Maybe. in the dark, I'd say. He seemed to be coming from a very different place from the other terrorists. Mm -hmm. Raiden, a lot of hostages, our president included, are still in danger. Keep your mind focused on protecting them. <sighs> what are my orders? Rescue the president. We have no idea where he is. You haven't been in the central core yet. I suggest you start there. Wait, I have another call. Want me to take it? No, I'll go offline. Best to keep our presence unknown. How you doing, kid? Pliskin, is everything all right? Could be better. Looks like I was out cold for a while. How did you manage to stay alive? Had a little help from a friend. Friend? That's exactly it. What about the bomb? Diffused. And Fat Man, too. That's good news. How's Shell, too? It's a mess. The bomb crippled H Strut. What about the toxins? The what? If the big shell blows up, the explosion is expected to produce massive amounts of toxins. Never heard anything about that. Huh? Well, looks like there's not much danger of that in any case. But the central core is starting to flood. It won't last much longer. Well, what about the president and the other hostages? They weren't in Shell 2. They must be in Shell 1. We need to get the hostages out of here now. It's too far from Manhattan for a swim. What about the lifeboats? There doesn't seem to be any. It doesn't make sense. So a chopper is our only extraction? Right. And it comes with a passenger limit. Intel has it that there are about 30 hostages. It'd take more than a single trip. We'll have to come back. Can you pilot a chopper? No, but I brought a gearhead with me. 
He's a good guy. I'll introduce you later. Pliskin, I'm on the heliport right now, but I don't see their Harrier. It's out somewhere. We'd better move now, then. Our chances with a Harrier after us are close to nothing. Do you know where the President is? No. That one's all yours. The President is at the top of our rescue list. These are our orders, Lieutenant J.G. Your orders, not mine. What? See you later. So it would seem that uh, we don't exactly know what uh, what Pliskin there, what his mission is. About the coolant, um, the uh, also I I don't know where this bomb was. I I imagine it was somewhere in that giant bomb suit. But about the coolant, I haven't really talked about it before, but the pressure that you actually release the coolant is dependent on how hard you press the square button. And in fact, and actually, if you keep going hard with it. If you keep holding down the button, it will eventually run out uh, until you let go of it for a second, and then you'll get it back. It's kind of weird. It's regenerating coolant. Identify yourself. Unlike you, I have no name. Are you Mr. X? Hmm. If you like. But come, let's get out of the open. Follow me. Are you with Foxhound too? Neither enemy nor friend. Just a messenger from the Lali Lulelo. This is safer, I think. Safe from what? Eavesdropping, of course. All right. Why did you contact me? I've been ordered to give you backup, including the relaying of necessary intel. Ordered by whom? Why won't you identify yourself? There is no need for you to know. I'll decide whether I need to know. You are not yet trusted to make such decisions. <sighs> I'll tell you something you do need to know instead. The current location of the president. What? Or rather, the person who knows the current location of the president. Who is it? A secret service agent named Ames, currently being held with other hostages. Secret service, huh? The head of the president's security detail, Ames has been fitted with the same type of VIP nanomachine system as the president. If you are within range, you should be able to communicate. Why are you telling me this? Do I need to repeat myself? There's no reason for me to believe any of this. You understand that? Of course, but you also have no choice but to believe. <sighs> Do you have any other leads? Where Whatever. are those hostages? <laughs> The hostages are being held in B-1 conference hall, in the Shell-1 core. You'll find Ames there. What does he look like? We don't know if it is indeed a he. I've never met this person either. How am I supposed to look for someone without even a description? Use your ears. What's that supposed to mean? Ames has a pacemaker. You'll be able to hear the machine sound in a heartbeat. You expect me to walk up to these hostages and listen to every one of their heartbeats? The sound is too minute to detect an amplifier. You'd be captured immediately. So what am I supposed to do? Use the directional microphone. There's one somewhere in the core. Take this. The security guard will unlock all level 2 security doors, including the one into the core. It's called a PAM card. It works together with your body's own electronic field. And watch yourself. The core is more heavily guarded than any other section of the big shell. You'll get nowhere just like that. Try this instead. One of the terrorists?
The surveillance camera won't let you on the elevator without the right uniform. You want me to disguise myself? Men assigned to the Corps and those on perimeter duty are given different colors to wear. Your new outfit will work in some areas, not others. The uniform alone won't fool them either. You're talking about weapons. Right, you need an AK. But I saw them carrying an AN-94. All men assigned to the Corps section carry AKs. So without an AK-74U, someone will see through me really quick. You could take care of the weapon issue yourself. One other thing. There's more? You'll also have to pass a retinal scan to get into the conference hall. Biometrics. Crap. Nothing but the real thing will suffice. This section is not an option here. I suggest you hurry. They have a nuke on their side. The nuke? They have a nuclear weapon with them? You didn't find their continuing presence here unusual? Even with the president as hostage, this is an island, and they have no visible means of escape. Even if they do have a nuke, the warhead is no good without an access code. The security lockout can't be bypassed. They don't need to. They have the code. You saw it too, I believe. The Navy man would have a handcuff. The other half of it is on the football, or the black case if you like. The nuclear button. And now they have it. Why did they have to bring the football along? To a decontamination plant of all places. But they did have to. Because, after all, the big shell is the farthest thing from a cleanup plant there is. What? Dead Cell didn't have to bring a nuke along with them. It was right here to begin with. Nothing in this affair is what it seems. A cover-up? But why? For what? For the Metal Gear that is housed here. Metal Gear? The very same. My devil with capable vehicle Shadow Moses in free. This place is the R&D center for its newest incarnation. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Better ask games the rest. What's this for? You might be glad you have it. Keep the controller's vibration function on. What do I need a cell phone for? Colonel, who is that man just now? He's not one of ours. No, we have no one like that in our unit. He said that the big shell was housing a new model of Metal Gear. First I've heard of it. Colonel, what are you not telling me? I've been completely open with you, Raiden. I've told you everything. Is that everything you know? Or everything I need to know? Snap out of it, Raiden. <sighs> I'll have the Metal Gear rumor looked into. You need to make contact with this Ames. So you believe that, Ninja? Since we have no leads on the President's current location, we have no other alternatives. Right now, collect as much data as you can, including anything on Metal Gear. Are those my orders? Yes, they are. Disguise yourself as an enemy soldier and infiltrate the Shell One Corps. Understood. So, a cyborg ninja, who looked a whole lot like Gray Fox, just hopped in, handed us a cell phone and a keycard, and told us a whole lot of stuff. Alright, uh, I'll take it. So, what, uh, what he gave us just now is, uh, he gave us this, so we can look a whole lot like an uh, enemy soldier. And also a mobile phone with a vibration feature allows the receiving of emails, of all things. Not calls, emails. Um, okay, so um, what was I doing? Let's call Pliskin and see what he thinks about this enemy uniform.
Pliskin, do you read me? What's up, Raiden? I just ran into a guy decked out like a, a ninja. A ninja? Yeah. Do you know anything about this? No. Can you trust that costumed freak? I don't know. But the colonel told me to follow the guy's instructions. And like a good soldier, you'll do it, right? I'll let you in on a little secret, kid. The ninja that was publicized in the Shadow Moses incident no longer exists. The guy you met has no connection whatsoever with the incident. And how do you know that? Because I do. Huh? Just be careful who you trust, okay? Hmm. It would seem that uh, Fliskin has some sort of inside information on uh, Shadow Moses Island. I wonder why that could be. Raiden, make contact with Ames and find out where the president is. Our information indicates that Ames is being held in the B1 level of Shell 1's core. Head for the core of Shell 1. Shell 1's core has extremely tight security. Impersonate an enemy personnel to infiltrate the section. For a proper disguise, select the enemy field uniform you receive from the ninja. This will allow you to blend in. But you still need one more thing. It will look suspicious if you're not carrying the standard equipment. All personnel in the Corps are equipped with AK-74Us. Select your own AK when you're in disguise. Find yourself an AK. You have a level 2 card in your possession. Go and search the warehouse in Strut F. So, we need that gun before we can go in there, really. Um, Stillman probably won't respond, I would guess. Uh, and we, we now know where to get one. Pliskin, do you know anything about a Secret Service agent named Ames? Ames? You've heard of him? Uh, no. Listen, if you know anything... No, I got the name mixed up with someone else. Forget it. Wonder why I said that. Hey, Pliskin, were you really a SEAL? That's what I told you. But... But what? I... Uh, nothing. Listen, kid, you're on a mission. Thinking about anything else can get you killed. That sounded like a threat. Uh. I see you're wearing the enemy field uniform. Looks pretty good on you. Cut it out. It's bad enough that I'm dripping with sweat wondering when somebody's gonna see through my disguise. Don't worry. And quit being so sensitive. At least your walk won't give you away. My walk? What do you mean, my walk? <laughs> Nothing. Forget I said it. I'd worry more about the fact that the uniform's a little small for your size. It just might come off when you bump into an enemy. Normally, a proper fitting uniform is issued to a soldier. You're just going to have to fit your movement to the uniform. <laughs> so, it's it's a little bit too small, and that means that, uh, that means it'll actually come off when you hit an enemy, when you bump into an enemy. It's pretty interesting. Uh... <laughs> All right, so we need to go to strut F, which is this way. Um, that's the really hard to navigate section. <clears throat> We're gonna go through this room here. The uh, shipping room, which can be used as a fast travel area, but I don't think uh, I don't think we have the right box to travel there, and it's right next door anyway. Yeah. So, better I think to, uh, to just go with something else. Well, that was fortunate that I accidentally laid down. Um, yep. <laughs> oh, right. Are there any mines here? There might be. No, there aren't. Okay, they're still gone. That's good. I thought they might have come back.
Okay. Now, the thing is, I have to go downstairs because I have a level 2 key card now. And this area is very hard to sneak around in. No. What's that? Oh, okay. I can just do that. Pretty sure it's in here. I just have to find it. There it is. Looks like you've got an AK. If you wear an enemy's field outfit and carry an AK, you can pass for one of them. Listen up, kid, and don't forget this. Only the guards in Shell One's core are armed with AK rifles. The others are armed with the AN-94, the official rifle of the Russian army. If you hope to disguise yourself as the enemy, you don't want to be carrying an AK outside of Shell One's core. <clears throat> now, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure that means that we actually- the disguise is useless outside of the core. In fact, the camouflage that they wear in the core is different from the camouflage they wear everywhere else. So, kind of doesn't help right now, but once we get to the core it will. Hopefully. Oh. I was looking at a different level. Or a different floor. Okay. I need to get out of here safely. Freeze! Move! Okay, I really want to get that book. But I tend to get caught when I'm trying to get it. Ah. Uh, you know what? I think I have to drop down. Which is unfortunate. I thought I could roll over to it, but apparently not. Oh There's no. Somebody, there. somebody just kind of sort of spotted me. He's going to be looking at that guy. So I can go up here. I want that book, but there will be another there will be another place where we can get books later. It's kind of not that useful right now anyway. I believe we can just go straight through here and it shouldn't be a big deal. Oh wait. No, not through here. This is how you get to the core. I was spotted. And I died. Thing is, right, what's going on? Yeah, right. you, you right. don't want to get caught right before you go in there. Those uh those panels start to fall down. And that can be an issue. Yeah, pro gameplay. Pro gameplay, that's that's me. I am pro gameplay spy. Whew. Managed to get there in time. Got a minute, Jack? Rose? I found some information on where Solid Snake is interred. Great. Shoot. I've located the grave site. And the body? Exhumed for DNA testing. Well, do you have the results? The right arm was missing, but there was no doubt that it was him. That body belongs to Solid Snake. Mm hmm. So the head of the terrorist group must be... An imposter. Right. You sound disappointed. I guess. I guess I was kind of hoping to meet the legend in the flesh. I get you. But it looks like he's not behind this incident. Raiden. The president needs you, I think. Disguise yourself as enemy personnel and infiltrate the core section. Your priority is to contact Agent Ames. The right arm was missing. Now that's some interesting information. Who do we know whose right arm was missing? Or how did Snake's right arm go missing anyway? Oh. 
Now, we have to be careful here. Don't want to bump into anybody. But uh, as long as we're dressed like this, they'll never know the difference. Now, yep, like I said, there are easier ways to get books. Publication with adult-oriented material full of dirty, dirty, full of girly photos and interesting columns. Yeah, that's that's what they are, and uh, they basically distract guards. Uh, guards will look at them and then will cluck like a chicken, if I remember correctly. That might be a later game where they do that. Uh, is this the poster? I think it is. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, Konami Eyes. I don't know why it says Konami Eyes on it. And yes, they cluck like a chicken. Um, I'm pretty sure. It's in, they do that in at least one of the games. I'm pretty sure they do it in this one. Oh, would have been M4 ammo if I had an M4. But I haven't picked that up yet. I don't remember where it is. Alright. And now, I have radar. So, that'll make this a lot easier. Oh. I'm pretty sure if they see me pressing up against walls, they actually, that actually will cause them to catch me. So I have to not do that. Um, if you do certain suspicious things, then it'll get people to notice you. This is the reason we absolutely needed the disguise, instead of just, it would be useful. Because if that camera caught us, well, we didn't have the disguise, that would be a problem. <laughs> Stealth habits are hard habits to break. Yeah, I like to kind of check out the area first. Retinol pattern recognized. You are cleared to enter. So this is where we're supposed to go. But actually, this isn't where I want to go yet. Um, there's actually a couple of secrets I want to show off first. That are in the basement 2. So let's go down there first. Okay. Now, we, you may notice there's no radar, so we do actually have to get the radar for each area. Yep. And this is why that's uh, useful. Well. Hello. I'm not doing anything. I don't know why you're... I don't know why you think I was up to anything. Nope. I belong here. But, yeah, when I was talking about a better place to get books, I actually wasn't talking about that place earlier. Once that guy turns around, which I don't think it matters where he is, but... This guy has, like, a million books on top of that locker. More books than we can handle. So that's actually the best way to get books. Oops. Lots of ammo for the M4. And this guy here is looking at uh, pictures of people. There's a, uh, <laughs> there's a parrot over there. He keeps mentioning Hal. Good morning. Good morning. You have the directional microphone. According to our information, Ames has a pacemaker. This should make his cardiac pattern fairly distinct. Use the directional microphone to locate it. 
if you shoot the uh, if you shoot the bird, it actually gets kind of angry at you. But I don't want to I don't want to deal with the uh, I don't want to deal with the aftermath of that. I'm afraid it might cause an alert to happen. And another box. Oh wait. I don't know why it was showing me that. So now we have the radar, which uh, makes it a little easier to get around here. Nobody actually cares about you opening lockers and stealing stuff. So you can do that all you like. Hiding in the locker, they might think is suspicious, but not just uh, not just opening them and picking up stuff. But it turns it turns out we did have to go come down here. I didn't remember that. Oh, you know what? This is actually the best place. Yeah, this is actually the best place to show off what uh, what books do. I think I explained it pretty well, but. We know he comes here, so we'll just we'll just stake out this spot and uh, use a book and equip the AKS again before he catches us. What is that? And then he is completely oblivious to his surroundings. He's just looking at those pictures of fully clothed women and just really intent on that. <laughs> Did kind of a weird motion there, but he hasn't clucked like a chicken yet. I guess they only do that in three. Or maybe four? I don't remember which game they do that in. Anyway. That's that's what books do, and they'll just be out of commission for a really long time. So it's like um, it's like a non-lethal claymore, <laughs> except it's not even directional. Hmm. And they're not actually asleep; they're just distracted. But it doesn't actually matter because they don't—they can't see anything. They're totally out of commission, but they can still hear things. I think. If you were to shoot a gun or something, they might look up. Oh. You got a node right away. That's good. So that guy comes out, and that actually makes it really easy to get in there. But I just want to take a look in here, pick up whatever I can. There are actually some magazines here that weren't in the uh, weren't on the tanker, like my dog. Um, cold kimono. Uh, you can actually shoot those down and flip them open, but I don't want to do that right now. Okay. <laughs> Just shove his face right in there. Retinol pattern recognized. You are cleared to enter. All you had to do was grab him, pretty much.
Dryden. One of those hostages in there is Ames. The only thing we know is that Ames wears a pacemaker. His heartbeat should sound different from other people's, so use the directional microphone to locate him. Once you recognize Ames by his heartbeat, keep the microphone pointed toward him. Then push the action button and call out to him. If it really is Ames, he should respond in some way. What if it's the wrong person? The guards may get suspicious and come running instead. Security could get tighter, too. Try to be sure before you take the risk. Don't call out to a hostage with the action button until you're fairly sure that it's Ames. If you do make a mistake, switch the microphone for an AK and get out of there before a guard gets suspicious. If you're discovered inside, they'll cut off your retreat and call in the reinforcements. You won't make it out of the room. The mission will be over if you're discovered. Don your disguise and look for Ames while deflecting the enemy's suspicion. So this section has quite a few secrets, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't remember what they all are, but I remember some of them. Um, let's see. There's something up here, for one thing. Thermal goggles. There's also a flag that's backwards for some reason. Uh, now let's see, who could it be? But, uh, you have to pull out the directional microphone. But there's a little bit of a problem. Well, it's not that big of a problem, it's just that there's guards patrolling. With the directional microphone you can hear people's heartbeats. Um... You're Ames, aren't you? My name's Jennifer. But yeah, she actually says her name, nobody else does. Um... <laughs> she's the only person who does that. Um... And it, this guard is coming around. Okay, no he's not. Jennifer has... some really dumb... Easter eggs. Uh, I'm going to feel really dirty for this one, but the thing is, you can look at her. I think just looking at her doesn't do anything. Riding, retain your cover at all costs inside that conference hall. There's only one way in and out of the area. If you're discovered inside, they'll cut off your retreat and call in the reinforcements. You won't make it out of the room. The mission will be over if you're discovered. Don your disguise and look for Ames while deflecting the enemy's suspicion. Anyway, the whole the whole thing is that she can somehow sense when you're looking at her and she clenches her legs together. So, you can actually... Ugh, I'm gonna feel so dirty for this, but you can actually put a tranquilizer dart in her and then you can call and there's a unique call for it. Once you have the directional oh, microphone. Come on. If the enemy see you with I know this I know this is a unique call for this. Raiden, it looks like the guards in charge of the hostages are in regular contact with other terrorists. Even a temporary measure against a guard will disrupt communications and alert the enemy to your presence. Refrain from knocking any guards out inside this area. Oh yeah, that was that was actually a thing I was wondering, was if I could just knock out that guy. I shouldn't have to tell you this, Raiden, but for the record, you are forbidden to harm any of the hostages. You wouldn't do a thing like that anyway, right? No, of course not, the Rose. The guards are keeping watch over the hostages. If something happens to even one of them, they'll realize that an intruder is in the room. That place is a death trap if you're unmasked and surrounded. Do not, I repeat, do not harm the hostages in any way. And also, if you uh, if you get caught, it is instant game over. Okay, now I think it should work. Right. What are you doing? There it is. You forget yourself. I can't believe you. What's wrong with you? I highly disapprove. Uh, well, um. 
I'm just. What do you mean, I'm just? Rosemary, you're right. One shouldn't stoop to vulgar levels just because they've set foot on the battlefield. But I can sympathize with you there. You what? Ah, uh, nothing. How twisted, the both of you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the secret. I, I feel bad. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 so anyway, shell one core. like it wasn't it wasn't Chip and Ironic as his LP, okay? That's only that's the only reason I know about it. <laughs> okay, where is where is Ames? I think he's that guy. There's actually one guy here who will trip you. It, it takes off your disguise. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. So you have to be careful about that guy. It's not this guy, is it? No. I don't remember. Reporting no problems in the hall on B1 in the Shell 1 core. Was he gonna turn around? How can he turn that way? It's this guy. Oh. Close. That guy's getting close. I may have already listened to this guy. Ah, oh, that sounds like Your it. aims, aren't you? to me. I'm not a terrorist. I got in here using one of their uniforms. I'm taking off the tape. Stay quiet. Who, who told you about me? An informer calling himself Mr. X, dressed like a ninja. I see. Take this thing off me, will you? I'm Richard Ames. Secret Service? No, I was set in by the Lali Lule Lo, just like you. You what? You're here to find out where the president is. We have little time, so I'll be brief. How about switching to nanocommunications first? Nanocommunications? Right, silence beats talk when it comes to safety. Right here. Do you really know where the president is? Almost certainly. He was moved to the first floor of Shell 2's core section. The first floor? The core of Shell 2? Is he still there? I don't know. I can't get a response. You don't think he's been like the other hostages? Hmm? A hostage was killed in retaliation after the SEAL 10 disaster, remember? What are you talking about? Hmm. Regardless of what they do to other hostages, they won't touch the president. What makes you so sure? The case. You mean the nuclear button they took? Right, and the case won't do a thing by itself. That case may be the single most advanced example of a weapons failsafe system. 
The password is nothing less than the physiological data of the U.S. president. Physiological data? The president's own vital signs, heartbeat, brainwave pattern, blood pressure and so on, are constantly monitored and relayed by his internal nanomachines. This information, along with the DNA pattern, serve as a biometric password, unbreakable even by the latest parallel processor supercomputers. The password entry itself cannot be performed unless brainwave patterns and heartbeats fall within normal parameters, rendering chemical and other forms of coercion impractical. In other words, the login must be made of the president's own free will. As a failsafe, the input must also be reconfirmed hourly, even after the initial login. If a valid confirmation is not forthcoming, the system will automatically cancel the login. And that's why they can't harm the president. At least until the bird flies. Is there really a new model of Metal Gear here? Absolutely. The black case serves as the launch key to Metal Gear as well. Why would they hide Metal Gear in an offshore plant? Haven't they told you anything? The entire thing was planned. The oil spill, the tanker accident that caused it, everything. The big shell was built specifically for the development of a new Metal Gear model. The inspection tour was to check its progress. What's going on around here? Wait. Here comes Snake. That's him? Use the microphone to listen in. So we actually have a little bit of control here. King, Fat Man is dead. It doesn't matter. Saved us the trouble of getting rid of him ourselves. Why did he betray us? Who knows? They're a band of lunatics to begin with. Nothing they do should come as a surprise. Um... You think he was working for them? We can't discount the possibility. Especially with that intruder still at large. Yes. The man in the sneaking suit. You know more about those suits than I do. But Foxhound was disbanded four years ago. So it must be... The Patriots. What about the damage to Shell 2? The circulation system. <clears throat> to come all the way to New York just to get hit with a bell attack. What luck. Oh. This one's worth it. Alaska. Did he just say Alaska? That commander chick really reminded me of someone. Who is she like again? Oh. Well, yeah. She's like her. Now that's a time I'd like to forget. Ridiculous that I had to get Jack for everything that was on me. When I think about it, that's when everything started to hit the skids. It's a shame. Feel the connecting pathway between shells one and two. The Simtex and IR sensors are already in place. Any effect on it? No. What about the president? The password entry has already been made to the black case. In one hour, we'll need a confirmation from him. His work is done after that. Make sure you keep him alive until then. Yes, I know. What about the unit's activation? Almost complete. The code has already been entered. All we need now is for the girl to start the system. The usual method, I assume? No. The drugs took care of everything. Mm. Only a few more steps to outer heaven. Who is that cyborg ninja, Shalashaska? I cannot even guess. What about you? I'm having the matter looked into. Olga, don't cast suspicion where it isn't due. Where it isn't due? When you watched my father die and did nothing. It's been two years ago, Olga. Let it go. I read the case file for Shadow Moses, by the way. Olga, how could you suspect me? I know that the ninja is not one of my men. How meaningful you make that sound. 
If Sergei were still alive... If the old man were still alive, I wouldn't need to take orders from you. Olga, Sergei was my best friend. If you sell us out, I'll kill you myself. Listen, daughter of Sergei. Don't ever let me see your gun pointed at me again. If you wish, I'll put a bullet in your back instead. Stop this infighting. I took you both in when no one else would. You think any government would have you as irregulars in this political climate? The worst kind of wet works, maybe. But even that's doubtful. I recommend against switching camps. You've nowhere left to go. It's happening again. This damn right arm. Liquid! It's almost as if it's having its revenge. How much do you think we spent on that arm in Lyon? The best transplant surgery team in the world. I never trust a Frenchman. There's something going on. The incidents are becoming more frequent. Maybe that man's presence... Ocelot, I leave this place in your hands. I have the intruder to take care of. Yes, King. Is that really Solid Snake? That's what he claims. I thought Snake was dead. Solid Snake did die. But he's also here in the shell. Either he survived, or there are two of them. Two of them? And that's impossible. Anyway, what did you manage to catch? They said password input was complete. I thought so. You said the password entry into the black case had to be made by the President willingly. That's right. So this means the President is cooperating with them. It would have to be, yes. Why? Probably tired of being a puppet, but it wasn't a smart move to betray us. A puppet? We're running out of time. They will fire a nuke. You know what you need to do before then. Fire the nuke? But it's nowhere close to the ransom deadline. Ransom? Thirty billion dollars in cash. What are you babbling about? The nuclear strike is not a threat. It's been the objective all along. They plan to slaughter millions of people. No, a high-altitude detonation. You've heard of the Compton effect? Total disruption of electronic equipment caused by EMMA pulse. Textbook answer. Well, when an average nuclear warhead goes off within the atmosphere, the result is an electromagnetic pulse of up to 50 billion megawatts. The EMMA field can reach tens of thousands of volts per meter, and most electronic equipment will be toast in an instant. If one of the key movers of world economy stops functioning, it could mean the beginning of a global depression. But that isn't their aim. What they plan to do is liberate Manhattan, pull it offline and turn it into some kind of a republic. Hence, Sons of Liberty, I suppose. Sons of Liberty? Damn! Ocelot is coming. I'm going offline. Search my pocket. Hurry! It's a security card. You'll be able to unlock doors of up to level 3 security. Use it to get to Shell 2. Take care of the President before they launch the nuke. He's coming here! Pick up your AK! We have gameplay. We have a timer of He's ten seconds. Coming here. Before we can uh, before we can equip our AKS 74U so that we won't be noticed. Pick up your AK. <laughs> I just like pushing it. What do you think you're doing? I asked him to remove these. I'm ill, you see. 
I always knew that the DIA turned out second-rate liars. What are you talking about? No need for denials. We know what you are, Colonel Ames. They knew that the President was planning to betray them. So they sent you in to keep tabs on him. Am I right? You! Sorry, Colonel. You failed to carry out your duties. You'll never escape the Lali Lule Lo. Is that so? What the? You. You. You tricked me. I understand now. Ocelot. You. You. Which team are you with? Show me your face! You know who he is. No, he is not one of mine. Identify yourself! Hm. We meet at last. is dead. Looked like a heart attack. Hmm, that's unfortunate. However, we do at least know where the president is. So there really is a new type of Metal Gear in this place? Apparently. We're still looking into it. I've also been told that the nuclear strike was what the terrorists were after from the start, not the 30 billion dollars. Right. It was a cover-up all along. Colonel, what are you keeping from me? I am not keeping back anything. It's not as though I'm told all the facts either. I'm pulling in all the favors I can to look into all this. Just be a little patient. Our priority should be with the president right now. We can take it that they've completed the password entry and are preparing Metal Gear for a nuclear strike. Get to the president as soon as possible. But the president is cooperating with them. According to Ames, yes. But it's also true that they're about to get rid of the president. There's something else going on here. And the president may be able to tell you what it is when you see him in person. Oh. Once they get the confirmation for nuclear launch, they'll do it. You need to rescue the president before then. Jack, I agree with the colonel. You need to protect the president for now. All right. All right. Uh, hello, Diz. Uh, so now we don't have our... We don't have a balaclava anymore. So this, uh, this uniform is actually kind of useless now. Um, I'm not really sure what the point of it is anymore. But, it has been an hour, so I'm gonna take a short break, and then we'll be back with more, uh, with more Metal Gear Solid. So, uh, I will see you in a few minutes. In the meantime, I'll start up a codec, I think. I don't know. Actually, let's call, let's call Rose first. This yeah, is gonna take is a while, you? I'm sure. <laughs> Jack, 
How's the mission going? Fine. Fine? Is that it? Look, I really don't feel like talking about the mission. At least with you. I want to talk about something else. Okay, then. Let's talk about you. Me? Yeah, your least favorite subject. That's not... Oh, yeah? Then go ahead and say something. Like what? Anything. Tell me something about yourself. I can't think of anything interesting to say. Why do you want to talk about me so badly? Because I'm curious. But why? Is it really that strange to want to know more about someone you love? No, it's not strange, but... You know, sometimes I... Oh, look, now we're talking about me, not you. Why won't you tell me anything about what you were like as a child? What kind of things you liked to do? What kind of people your parents were? I've never heard you talk about any of that. Why? I... Don't you think it's just a little bit unusual that I don't know anything about my own boyfriend's past? Rose, when I get back, I'll tell you everything. Is that a promise? Yes, it's a promise. <sighs> so that's, uh, that's why people don't like Rose, because you save the game and then she wants to talk about... She wants to talk about stuff like that. Hmm. Anyway, time for that break, I think. So I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs>